today is uh, Thursday, June 13th. Um, it's day two of my journey into uh, Lyme supplementation, or um, like I mentioned yesterday, we're trying to get on supplements um, so I can get off all my prescriptions and stuff. So I've got like a bag full of supplements that I've put in a nice little um, nice little container here. Um, and I've got some other stuff too um, as far as like cream to help with detox and muscle pain and sleep and stuff and then uh, infant powder to help restore digestive things. Um, I'm sorry, I'm really cold, but my blanket's not warm. And, uh, my blanket is too warm, but it's too cold in my house to not have anything, so I'm kind of, you know, doing my, hugging my knees to my chest number. But, um, today, day two has been a, an okay day. Um, I mean, as, as far as I have okay days, um, it started off really bad. Uh, I was in a lot of pain. I could not think of a single part of my body that was not aching. Um, probably because we went to bed around 11.20 last night. And um, I had the TV on and I uh, had the sleep timer on, which I don't... I want to start sleeping with the TV off because I think it just causes me issues because I did not get to sleep till 3. Um... Sleep timer went off after an hour, but then I was bad about getting on my phone and researching what else but Lyme. Um, and uh, I just didn't sleep well. I got to sleep sometime around 2.30 or 3. I think closer to 3. Woke up around 7.30. I think I fell back to sleep till about 8. Um, but uh, Lucy, stop. But, um, I laid in bed until 10.40 because I was in so much pain I could not get up. I could not physically sit up. I could not even think. And it's big for me to stay in bed because if I'm up, if I'm awake, I get up and take a shower. Even if it has to be sitting in my shower chair. Um, but, um... I didn't get up. I stayed in bed, uh, I think, later than I ever have in my entire life. Um, and then it started storming all through the morning, and it was like huge thunderstorms till 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And it was, um, with getting off the prescriptions, um, the one that's been the biggest issue so far was the muscle relaxer that I was on. Um, I'm still on several... Uh, Right, still on a few prescriptions, um, but the muscle relaxer has been a big deal for me because I uh, um, arthritis is not only acting up, but my muscles are really tense and really achy, and I'm having this weird pain. And actually, since I'm sitting like this anyway, I'll, it's like my leg. Uh, not the muscles, but not just my joints, like my, my, my arthritis has been acting up as far as my knees and ankles and everything, particularly during the storm. Um, I'm having these shooting pains starting like down in my foot and going all the way up through my knee and almost through my hips. Um, it's just been, I've never had shin splints. I don't think it's the same thing. I think that it's something that can be related to Lyme. Um, I think I was reading somewhere that that type of pain happens. Um, but I think the muscle relaxer maybe was kind of keeping that particular pain at bay, even though a lot of other stuff was worse. Um, and that's been trouble throughout the entire day. Um, it's kind of, it's just been really, really like just want, wanting to make me cry. And it typically takes a lot of pain for me to cry. Um, but... Uh, two, around two or three, whatever time the storm stopped, um, we were able to go outside for, I don't know, it felt like 45 minutes, may have been 15 or 20, um, 
but we got our zero gravity chairs, which have the little, you know, they zero gravity chairs or regular chairs, and then you can, as you lean the feet up, the head goes back, and you're, you know, you, and then they can little lock with the, on the sides, on the arms, and uh, it can lock you into position, so you don't have to use your muscles to hold it into position. Um, it was nice to be out in the sun. Um, they have little canopies over them, so I didn't get as overheated. Plus, with the storm this morning, um, it, by the time we went out there, it was sunny and nice. It was only like 68, maybe 70 degrees. So, um, since it normally would have, that used to freeze me to death, um, and it still did. Like, I still got really shivery, but, um, I wanted to get my legs in the sun, and if it's really warm, I can't go outside because, and I apologize, my dog keeps scratching. She's got some pretty bad allergies, and it's playing havoc with her, too. But, um, the sun has, has uh, been wearing me out a lot, um, so it was nice to be outside, um, went where it wasn't too, too overbearing because I wasn't getting as overheated since it was not that warm actually but there was just enough sun to kind of help my legs feel a little better for a little while um then we came in the house and went to walmart which is always an adventure we keep it seems like that's where we just end up going because we think of stuff that we need and um i will note i don't know if i did yesterday or not but um the wheelchair that we purchased was just a little uh, compact, foldable. Um, I mean, it's nice, it's comfortable, but oh, dang, did you hear that? That, that hurt. Um, but it, it, uh, the wheelchair has been a, a godsend and a very, very wise investment. I feel like I'm a little more coherent today um, as far as being able to have a conversation. Um, a lot of that goes away when someone tries to ask me a question or I try to explain too much, but um, I'm still feeling very, very optimistic and I'm still, you know, diligently sticking with the supplementation and have goals of, um, goals of, crap, I looked at wrong place, whether it was the camera or the computer, uh, tablet, whatever. Um, I lost my train of thought. The goal is to get off all prescription medication before we even try actual Lyme treatment of any kind. We want to rebuild my entire system, basically, because um, I've been on so much medication that it has completely killed um, not only my digestive tract, but um, just about every system in my body uh, in an effort to help things like arthritis and fibromyalgia and things that we realize are now Lyme related um anyway um we got home from walmart the trip to walmart was kind of successful in that we got things we needed that awful shooting pain was going on in my legs the, the last 15 or so minutes we were there um because you know even though i was sitting down and i wasn't trying to stand no blood was circulating the way it's supposed to and um um, I'll, I'll mention real quick, during the storm this morning, um, and if I mentioned this a couple minutes ago, I'm sorry, but I couldn't talk about it real quick, um, any type of storm, I mean, I have this almost constant pressure in my head that, if I try to describe it, it's like my head feels like, my brain feels like it's trying to, sorry, I was looking at myself, trying to see what I was doing, my brain feels like it just wants to bust completely out of my skull, um, and then it causes really bad pressure and stabbing pain in my ears and eyes, and that was really, really bad with the storm this morning, um, and the thunder was loud, which didn't help, um, that's gotten a little better throughout the day, the one, uh, the one exception would be at Walmart when we would, like, um, pass someone who had on perfume or pass an aisle that had candles or potpourri or whatever, which sets that off big time and I start itching and overheating and not able to breathe and um but uh, I was able to get through it and we came home and had dinner and uh, we poached eggs 
and um, I know I need the eggs because protein, but I swear that wreaked havoc with my digestive system more than anything has in a week, and it was very, very painful, um, but I was, you know, we're, it's just day two, and we're just on day two of trying to get the supplements going and rebuilding my digestive tract and uh, just my overall ability to function. Um, so I'm not too upset that I'm still in this much pain on day two. I kind of expect it, especially since I'm dealing with withdrawals from some of those medications that are toxic and poison and I'm going to be off eventually. Um, so I'm just going to keep going through. God's got it. He'll answer his promises. Um, I know that uh, my husband is possibly the, no, definitely, 100% definitely the kind of soul in the world because um, he doesn't make comments and tell me to stop crying when we're sitting there trying to watch a fun show during dinner and I've, you know, been reduced to tears, but I'm trying to not, you know, not be loud, but I know that I have noises, uh, you know, whether you can hear somebody silently crying or whether they're breathing heavy or complaining, um, or, you know, just groaning or whining, um, it wears and tears on a person. I, I know it has to, but he is, he is so good and so understanding, um, more than I feel like I deserve, but, um, he does what, uh, what he, he does what I need, and just being a support, um, not just doing things for me, but not, not getting annoyed, or not, um, to, you know, having the patience to take me to Walmart and push me in the wheelchair, um, or just laugh watching a show with me, whether it's Star Trek or whether I'm watching, making him watch Grey's Anatomy. Um, uh, so overall, right now, um, at, it is 8.08 p.m., which was around the time that I started recording yesterday's video, um, I do feel more coherent right now than I did at this time yesterday. Uh, mentally in a better place, um, physically, like I said, just kind of generalized aching all over, but um, still very optimistic and hopeful uh, that we just keep on keeping on with the supplements and hopefully we'll see improvement each and every day in some way, whether it's small or big or whatever. Um, so uh, I guess this is it for tomorrow. Uh, crap, this is it for today. I'll try to post tomorrow. If I don't, then I'll post whenever I get a chance. Um, thanks for watching. I'm sure there are things that I didn't mention. Um, but, uh, uh, that's, that's about all I can think of. So I'm going to stop making you watch me. Alright, have a good night.